I did want to ask you just one question because I think this would be super helpful. Your Sabet, revered by many, many people in the space, and even you don't always sell out. So what would you tell another artist who, you know, they're, they're putting their stuff up there, nobody's buying it. It's just, you know, what would you tell them? I always share something that I learned when I started selling artwork on uh, Instagram. Before that, I used to not even be able to sell one piece. People wouldn't even click the like button anymore because for some reason, the like button meant that they had to buy it. A friend of mine named Spencer, I met him uh, in 2015, right before I went to Japan. He taught me these three things that you need to be able to sell your work. You need an audience, you need to educate that audience, and you need programs. The programs are what makes it exciting and fun for people to collect. The audience is off, of course, you need as big of an audience as possible to be able to share it with them. I have one more, the ability to turn that audience into a community, at least a portion of it, not all of them, because there's always going to be the surrounding audience that you're never going to know or touch in person, but you're going to be able to make relationships between you and some of them. Another thing I learned during the flash sales on Instagram, you know, I would sell 150 to 200 paintings in a month in 30 days. And you would think I had millions of followers. I didn't. I had maybe 10,000 followers on my Instagram and only about 20 to 30 of them would make that sale a success hmm. because they would get into the program. And the program was like this day one to day 30, there was only five available for sale each day. That sale would start at 7 p.m. Day one would be $25. Day two would be 50, then 75, then 100. So a bonding curve before I knew what bonding curves were. Day one, a few people who can afford it buy it. Then they get hooked on it. And then the second day, they collect a few more. And then on the third day, and you see some people, maybe 5% of them will stick it all the way to the end, buying everything. At five or six available a day, that's not a lot to do well especially if you scale it out that way. So that's a program. When I entered the NFT space, the programs have to be more fun. It's 0.25 for the next 24 hours, then it's gonna be half a eat, and there's only 20 of them available. Things like that, even for one piece, there was a program. It didn't have to be this long collection-based thing. Some of the programs work, some don't. I remember doing a Valentine's Day program. There was three paintings, there was two days to purchase to get to your loved one. Either the art wasn't good enough or it wasn't cute enough or energetically I was just doing it because I had to do a program. Your energy, vibration, and frequency really matter when you're doing the programs as well. You have to be excited so you can create that connection with your audience, this magical bond that happens above the air. So that tension, that positive tension that builds has to be there. Bye -bye!